If you were offered $20 million to not say a word for an entire year, would you do it? What's the first thing you would say after? Does this mean not saying a word anyone hears or not saying any words period? Because I'm sure I'd involuntarily say something when I stub my toe or stand up it down. Also, I'd probably struggle not to tell my dog he's a good boy. Right does talking to yourself count? This is the $20 million question. I could go a year without talking to another human, but not without talking to myself. It resets the counter. Same I was like yeah sure then I realized wait I talk to myself out loud all the time f. Does say include nonverbal speech? Cause otherwise this be pretty easy. I'd say show me the money. Yeah these hypos always leave out hugely important details. Not being able to speak out loud versus not being able to communicate in any way is an enormous difference. If it's just the former, it's not even a question. You could also learn sign language if they only mean speaking out of your mouth. It's fairly easy to pick up. With American Sign Language a lot of signing makes logical sense as the language was created more recently than not. Although having someone to sign with helps significantly, more so if they can speak. A girl at my gym only signs, it's fun to talk 40 feet away from each other although if I'm like what the F did you say to me she'll write down what she said. Learn some of your favorite songs and sign, that will help a lot. I just had to laugh about the song part because I recently stumbled over a YouTube video that completely signed WAP and ASL. What a vocabulary that would be. This one? Edit, tagging not suitable for work? YouTube link. Oh my god, that's effing fantastic. I can sign, this would be a laugh. If you couldn't communicate at all. I'm not sure how you even could. You'd have to not have contact with any human for a year, even a simple palm towards the door as in you first would be a communication. I live alone and that's pretty much my quarantine experience. Mostly over text. For 20 million I'd take waking coma for a year. Just awake, but unable to move or communicate, just being without being. I would know there was a limit and afterwards everything would be easier. Hypos. The F did you just call me? This exactly. If I can write slash type I would be 100%, okay with this. Would probably do it for just an extra 100k. Slow and steady T, slow and steady. Michael Townley 1988 20 million dollars is rest of my life as a vacation kind of money. People have sworn an oath of silence for far less. Absolutely I would do it. What would I say after? Probably my bank account number to the organizer of this. Edit, like, invest 20 mother-in-law, get a measly under market 5%, return annually, and we're talking $1 million a year in interest in the rest of your life. Probably my bank account number to the organizer of this. Considering you're going to be silent for a year, I demand a significant deposit first. Edit, since this comment is getting some replies. Web link. Maybe take half up front then not even bother with the rest. Yeah I'd say that's a good start. Have a contract, half up front, verify the other half exists and send it to an escrow account. The other issue is how can this be verified? Now we're getting into why this is a hypothetical as opposed to reality, should you have a microphone strapped to you 24 7? That raises the stakes considering privacy implications since this would include private noises, bathroom, bedroom. I'm also presuming that you'd quit your job and literally do nothing for a year. That minimizes interactions and therefore the incentive to speak to anyone. This suddenly sounds like a lot of work. Could we make it 30 million? Edit, spelling. Yep, it's a lot of work. But 20 million dollars is still 20 million dollars. Except you pay taxes on that income so figure 15 million dollars. Now you wipe out all your debts, maybe some gifts, and stabilize for a million. This leaves you with 14 million dollars. Figure 1 million dollars on risky investments. You now have 13 million dollars. Figure 5 million dollars in the stock market and that should return $400k slash year on average and with taxes on that, figure $325k slash year in one yearly payment. 
Plus you have $8 million and put that in ultra safe US treasuries which pays maybe a percent or two, or just barely above inflation. But it's safe so even if everything crashes, you should be good. Plus it's another $1.6120k slash year after taxes. Do all that and even with 30 years of inflation erosion and increased healthcare costs, you'll be in good shape. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Where do I sign up? I guess ask original poster. Shh. It's mind-blowing just how much money money makes. Depending on where you live, you're probably going to only have $1.1011 M left after taxes. Yes but if you're talking about paying a good chunk of your payout in taxes then perhaps consider moving. This person gets it. These kinds of questions come up all the time. But I think many people don't understand just how much $20 million, or any other crazy large amount of money, actually is. If you're responsible, that kind of money would allow you to live a very comfortable life without ever having to work again. You probably won't be living in a huge mansion with 10 cars, but if you invest wisely, and spend responsibly, you could live very nicely for the rest of your life. Would a year without talking be difficult? Sure. But at the end of it, you're set for life. You'd be foolish not to take it. A year isn't even that long. It's maybe 1.5% of your total life if you live an average lifespan. What would you possibly gain by speaking for a year that is worth more than $20 million? A year isn't even one COVID lockdown. Depends on which state you live in. There was a Twilight Zone episode about this. The guy who took the bet had his vocal cord severed to assure he would win the bet, and in the end, the guy who made the bet didn't have the money to pay off. Yeah first thing you do is verify the bet is legit. Yeah, this one is too easy, especially if you can just use a tablet or sign language to communicate. Real question is what is the lowest amount of money you'd do it for? I'd be worried about accidentally screwing it up. I'd probably have to go live in solitude for a year. As long as I have internet I'd be fine. I'd still screw up, talking to myself. If I could keep that same rate per day, $54,794 per day, I might be able to make to 10 days or half a million dollars. I'd have to think about not saying anything constantly, it would be very difficult. I asked my husband this question, and he said he'd physically tape his mouth shut or something as a reminder not to talk to himself laughing out loud. Then you have to eat, take tape off and still accidentally talk to yourself laughing out loud. Total parenteral nutrition here I come. I talk to myself all the time. I play out scenes in my head, past or possible. And in languages. I wouldn't last a day. If I can still type slash write, at least $25,000. If I can't type slash write, I have to quit my well-paying job and will affect social relationships, wife, etc. no less than 250k. 100k to cover my salary for a year, the rest for the effort. You are selling yourself real short. It's not just the one year, you need to quantify what kind of affect this may have on your career as a whole, as well as a strain on relationships and life altogether. Making a little more than you would have made if you hadn't done it doesn't seem like enough. Easiest money ever. I don't know. Are you mic'd up and monitored? Cause I'm going to stub a toe and curse the cabinet's firstborn nightstand. I think I'd rather be the guy paid six figures to monitor some idiot for a year. Can you undergo a surgery to temporarily disable slash inhibit vocal cord function? If so, I'd do that. Twilight Zone did an episode on this. Yes and my first words would be pay me bitches. Laughing out loud I would ask for payment before. Imagine being mute for a year just to get nothing at the end. There was a Twilight Zone episode about this. Dude didn't think he could do it, so he paid a surgeon to cut his vocal cords. Then when the year was up the guy he made a bet with was broke and couldn't pay up. The Silence The Twilight Zone Episode 61 It's based on the bet by Anton Chekhov Edit, this old man says thanks for the gold, man The very same I think there was a Twilight Zone show about this Yep, 
though I think the prize was just $1 million, which of course was worth so much more back then. The Gabby gentleman who took the bet cut his vocal cords, rendering him physically unable to speak for the rest of his life, all in order to win the bet. And if if I recall correctly, didn't get the money as the guy who lost the bet didn't have it. And that's why you'd sign a contract with a lawyer and have funds in escrow. He requests that Taylor put a check on deposit in his name. This measure is refused by all in the club as the colonel has a strong standing of honor and credit. My courage against your credit is then accepted by both, and the challenge begins at 10 o'clock the following night. Web link. True story, a friend went an entire year without speaking to one of his roommates, just because the other roommate said he couldn't. After one year, the original friend said, sup. That's a really great way to get your hyper-competitive roommate to finally STF you for a while. Had a pleasant year, you? You ruined this year. Was the roommate aware of why your friend wasn't speaking with him slash her? Did he find alternate ways to communicate with them? This is serious commitment. I want to know more too. That's commitment if I've ever seen it. That's autism level crap. As an autistic person who didn't speak till they were five, I second this. Sup. As an autistic person that does this crap all the time, definitely. Similar story, a classmate of my sister pretended to be mute for a whole year in high school, he transferred in that year and waited until graduation to come clean. Which word can't I say? Okay, so I'm not the only one. Thank you. I can't believe I had to scroll this far down to find someone who read this headline the same as I did. You can't say the phrase, a word. Is it just me, or have the dollar amounts in questions like this been getting less reasonable lately? I keep seeing with you, minor inconvenience, for, life-changing amount of money, and with you, something that could kill you, for, large but not massive amount of money. Would I spend a year communicating via text in exchange for enough money to retire on? Obviously yes. What are your life circumstances like that make you think this is even a question? Yeah like some people do this for free. Insert you guys are getting paid meme, questions are like would you delete your reddit account for 100 million dollars? Would you die for one dollar? If it goes to my family that's all I care about. I just want them to be happy my darling little girl wakes up every day with cancer, and goes to sleep every night with Ebola, and we live in Myanmar so our medical bills are through the roof. Laughing out loud did anyone else notice he asked a question to set himself up for a joke? Yeah I saw that too, who does that? So meta. Yes. I'm rich biatch. Damn, one day too early. This is a no-brainer. I took sign language in college. Wouldn't mind brushing up, or having a pad and pen with me everywhere I go. Or you know, texting. I need a drink is probably the first thing I'd say. Can I talk to myself? Otherwise I'd lose with the first game I played. F. Oops. I'm on the autism spectrum and was somewhat nonverbal for a while when younger. I say somewhat because I made up my own language of sounds. Then one day I just started talking normally as if I always had. A while back I had a huge mental breakdown and turned into a hermit. I was nonverbal for at least six months of that, and struggled for a long time to be able to speak at all. For years there were some things that were really hard to verbalize at all. I think this is one of the first of these sorts of challenges I would turn down. I could do it pretty easily. But I think I would undo way too much healing in the process. Someone just give this $1.20 mil, carrot. Well, there are a few questions that need answers. 1. Do I get the money up front, or after? 2. Can I communicate in any way other than talking? 2B. If I can communicate in other ways, can I explain people why I can't talk? If I get the money after the year, and I can't communicate in any way at all, I wouldn't do it. A situation might arise in which I simply cannot survive without communicating. It might get me locked up in jail, 
or thrown in a mental ward. If I get the money right now, or I just can't talk, but I can write slash text slash etc., then sure, it wouldn't even be hard for me. I'm not a big talker, never feel the need to talk. Even when the year is over I probably wouldn't even feel the need to say anything special. I would say, new mono ultramicroscopic silicovolcanoconiosis. Which is the longest English word. And I really think it will take me a year to practice it in my head just to say it. Actually, one of the longest words in the English language, there will always be something else, is According to Sam Keen in The Disappearing Spoon PN, voice breaks and raspy air comes out as your mouth moves and then you start coughing Yes, I would do it I would tell my wife I loved her. F. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.